So one year ago when the pandemic began, DACC, in my opinion, did a great job of responding by first um, really strategizing and bringing in key partners and thinking about how do we best serve our community um, in a very safe way and still meeting some of the most important parts of our mission. Um, and while we erred on the side of caution and safety for our students, we also recognized that we needed to consider the safety of our community as well. And so having trained nurses, trained EMS uh, personnel, um, fire science, and also water technology um, students was also important to the needs of our community so that we could continue operating. As a team at DACC, um, we were able to develop mitigation strategies in order to be able to safely open certain programs. In health sciences, we began by asking the question, so our clinical coordinators and directors came together and said, you know, what are other schools doing? And we found that a lot of schools uh, were not having a building level check-in, they were not doing symptom checks, and um, there was quite a bit of discussion around, do we need to go that far? And so we paired that with what we were learning from John Hopkins and what we were learning from the CDC and recognizing that we had to come up with something and that there wasn't a plan out there. COVID uh, safety team was basically responsible for figuring out the standard operating procedure and protocols um, because the academic response really needed uh, a system to follow. I think DACC may have been more prepared than others in the community um, from, from a couple different standpoints. Number one, the strength of our faculty and our health programs, our public health programs, we had that resource directly, you know, as part of our community. You know, this was really a team effort. We had about 86% of our faculty who have not had any in-class person instruction with our students for a year now. But they've done that so that we could safely bring back these other programs. Community is in our name, you know, so how, it, it would be weird if, if the community college wasn't involved in, you know, at every level of the community and its recovery. And we take that role very, very seriously. Um, it's, so it wasn't surprising when DOH, the Department of Health for New Mexico, um, came to us and said we would like to offer vaccine clinics. Absolutely, people know where we are um, and we are more than happy. We have over 200 DACC employees who are serving as volunteers um, to support the vaccine efforts of this community. And we know that those are ways that we can keep our community healthy, but also help us all get back to some type of normalcy. We also have a student community who is, they frequently are essential workers in our community, um, don't maybe have access to technology that others might have, and are also in the, um, the groups that are highly affected by COVID. The, as far as classes are concerned, we had to go to a fully online format, but that doesn't mean that the flow of resources for our students had to stop. We had to have the food pantries that we're doing through with Casa de Peregrinos once a month. We have the emergency aid program that actually helps pay for uh, overdue rent, utility bills, childcare payments, medicine, transportation. We even have money enough, enough in that with that fund, we can help people uh, get their cars repaired if they need a if they need a set of tires. Anything that gets, that's gonna keep them enrolled and, and retained here at Doinana is what we were trying to do. The biggest challenges that, one, that some of our students had was access to technology. We were able to do something to make sure that the students who needed it the most were furnished an iPad, a free iPad. So I believe that what's unique about Doinana is how much we care for the well-being of our students. I am incredibly proud of the efforts of everyone because it's truly, it's not just teamwork, it's family. Family came together and we all agreed that the number one priority was safety of our students, but also the ability for our students to continue advancing in their education and find success in whatever they came to us for, because that's what we do at DACC. I sincerely, you know, recognize the role that we play and, and, the, and, and how impactful we are to the community. And, and that just says so much for me. I look forward to a time when we're not <laughs> talking about COVID, but I will say that um, in accepting the position to be able to serve as the uh, COVID-19 safety coordinator, one thing that resonated with me is you know, in five or 10 years, when we look back and my kids, I have two young kids ask me, you know, about this time, I wanted to be able to say that I participated in making a difference and I appreciate that DACC set it up that way because I think I'll have a good story for them.